Hi there, Lloyd Macedo Sweeney from LloydMacedo.com and who's Lloyd Macedo. Today the date is 15th of February 2016. Uh, it's a Monday, time right now is 1.48 uh, in the afternoon. I happen to get this question from uh, one of the readers who said, Lloyd, why don't you have children? You will feel complete. It is God's blessing and uh, you'll understand true love. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, we'll answer that question. My dog is actually sleeping on my lap, so I can't move much. Uh, why is it that I don't want to have children? Well, it's very simple. Not everyone is meant to have children. Not everyone is meant to be a parent. Not everyone is ready to sacrifice uh, their time, effort, their money, uh, themselves, their dreams, selflessly um, and unconditionally. I, for one, I am not that kind of uh, great human being who can do that selfish, uh, you know, selfless love. Uh, you know, forget the time. Now forget the money. It is you. You need to invest yourself completely. You need to be there for the child. If you're not willing to give everything and anything and all, you should not be there. You should not be a parent. Now, another one is you should understand your capacity. Do you have the capacity to provide the best? If you don't have, then don't get into it. I'll give you a small example. There are so many people in the Middle East, so many, where uh, in Dubai, Qatar, Bahrain, Saudi, where the father is in Saudi, mother is in uh, Dubai, child is in uh, Philippines or the child is in India. And I, you know, really ask myself, okay, so the father is in Saudi, mother is in, you know, Dubai or some other place, Bahrain or wherever, child is with the uncles, aunts or the grandmother. And once every two years, because that is how the contracts work, once every two years or once every three years, uh, the father decides to come down to the home country. Mother decides to fly down. And they all are together for a family, uh, as a family, for two months. Two months is a max that they can take a holiday. So is this life? Is this what, uh, you know, what life is all about? I, for one, I don't know if you find that appealing, but I find that absolutely disgusting. I, I don't find that a way to live. I don't find a way to bring up your child. You know, your child is being brought up by someone else. Uh, he doesn't know you. You don't know your wife. Your wife doesn't know you. You all are staying separate just to make ends meet. Over here in Dubai itself, okay, let's not go very far. We have a guy and girl. They get married. They decide to have children, not one, sometimes two, okay? And then because they can't manage the expenses because, you know, school fees is not very cheap. It's pretty expensive. They send the child to the cheapest or the school that they can afford, which is, you know, substandard of substandard, really crap. And, um, you know, and then they can't provide the child the best uh, of what life can offer. They can't send the child to, you know, extracurricular activities, sports and nothing else. Just study and come back. And the father goes working the whole day. Mother goes working the whole day. Child is being brought up by some nursery or a maid. And they come back at late in the night at seven or eight. And then within one hour, the child has to sleep. The father also has to sleep. Mother has to sleep. Next day, mother and father have to get up by 5 o'clock morning and they have to go to work. So, and the child has to go to school. So what kind of life is that? So I don't know about you. Maybe you might find that very appealing. I find that absolutely terrible. I don't think that is a way to live. I don't think that is a way to bring up a child. And uh, that is why I, I prefer not to have children. I just don't want... If I, if ever I had a child, I would like the child to study maybe in Harvard Business School, go for the best education in the world, uh, train under the best of the best mentors, uh, be something worthwhile. If I can't afford that, and I know that is difficult, and I obviously I can't give my time, my effort. Uh, I mean, what's the point? What's the point? And as it is, I find uh, managing my own expenses so difficult. So I'm not looking forward to make my life and the life of an innocent young little uh, life more complicated, complex, and uh, less than, you know, the best of what they deserve. So that is why I have decided not to have children, and I don't want to have children, and uh, there's nothing romantic about it, and I don't have to be apologetic about it. So Roy from RoyMacedo.com, and it was Roy Macedo, stating with you why he doesn't want to have children, and why he'll never have children. And one day when I have to die, I'll die with style, alone. No need to, you know, have a family name, Macedos, and blessings, and feel complete, and all that stuff. Anyway, so hope that answers your question. Any other questions, send me an email. Goodbye for now.